All right, who hit that garage door? Now come running. Are you gonna get out? You oh. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> you gotta step over it with them little little legs. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Oh, he's going to go around. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs>Hey, what's up, Hoover? What's it's going on? Me and Hoover sitting here for Ohio Fish Rescue. We came to uh, Ross's house. They, his wife called us with the plea. You can see we've got one one fish that died already. He had his his uh, father passed away, and he's taken over this, and he don't know how to take care of this. And there was this no actual right filtration on it. So it we're down. gonna we're gonna try and hook up his filtration on it for him, and uh, get it running again to where the fish can live and and be happy. He said it's been here for quite a while, but, you know, something's obviously gone wrong. So we're going to help Ross out here, and we're hooking up that canister filter for biofiltration because the only filtration he had on here was this here for the sprinkler, and that was just a mechanical filtration. So we're going to give him some seeded bio balls to stick in there, and he'll, he'll clean this up real quick like. And then I'll have his waterfall running again. Okay, so we're draining the water out now because this has got a lot of ammonia in it. We set up this this filter here for a biological filter. It's going to pour into this tub. The tub's going to waterfall back in. So he'll have a nice buffer zone for the ammonia buildup. And uh, they'll have more filtration in there. And then this is his only mechanical filter. He'll clean that out once this is cleared, then once a month or so. But right now he's probably going to have to do it daily for the first week. And... Uh, you know, we're, we're taking out as much of the old ammonia water as possible, and we're going to refill it with clean, clear water, so it'll be clear already. So this won't, he may have to change this the first couple of days, not a week. And, uh, you know, we're going to give him bio balls from our system that'll be preloaded with bacteria that's used to fill up that so that he can take off right away, and this will be running. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to help them out and get this uh, pond up and running right. Okay, we've been waiting for like a half hour. It's gone down two, three inches. So we just, Hoover went and got the big pump out of the car, hooked it up to his black hose. Now it's running out with that hose. Uh, and Ross is hooking up the spitter for the gargoyle to spit water in there. Since it was already had a T on it, we're going to go ahead and try and use it. The only thing that will stop us is why it was disconnected in the first place. So if it was disconnected because it was leaking, then we're going to have to disconnect that and cap that. But we will get it. Okay, he's cleaning the fiber floss for this fountain right here, and that's going to go back in the center. But we hooked up this little waterfall and that filter, so uh, it's just filling up now. It'll start running a little more. And he's got another pump he's running to that spitter, so the spitter will spit more water in, making the waterfall even better. Um, and then that's going to be going through all bio balls over there. So we have to get used bio balls from our place for him, and then uh, his pond will be good. He's got 11... 11 fish in there, koi and goldfish mix, and he's got three nice lily pads that are lasting just fine. So I think he'll be he'll be doing all right once this gets filled back up. So I'm glad he called us before all of them died. Okay. Now. No, I'd leave it go a little more. Is that the normal level it's up to? Okay, you can shut it off. Hoo. Now water's back up. I like all that green lichen right there. It's nice. We've got waterfall coming back in. Could use a little stronger pump through there. And then he's got his fountain back up. All the plants are back. And then all we have to do, we have to run to the rescue and get some used bio balls to throw into there. And then he will have his bacterial filter here with his mechanical filter there that he changes. And he should be good and set to go. He's got a fresh water change. You can actually see the fish down in there now. And uh, they're trying to hide in the bottom. <laughs> Where'd they go? There's some under there. there. There's their hole right there to their cave. They're all in that cave right in there. But we counted 11 of them while they were out here. So I hope this helps you. I have to get going. I got people meeting us at our house. Yeah. So it was very you nice meeting you. Up or you got it. 
It was very nice meeting you, Ross. Um, and uh, you can you know how to put that lid back on under yeah. the cover. Okay, we don't need to do that until we put the bio balls in there. Right. Now, if you'd like to stop by the rescue to pick up the bio balls, um, you're more than welcome. Whenever you know she comes back and has the other ones, I'm only seven eight minutes away from here, right on uh, Colbright Ave, uh, by off of Shermer, um, by Howe Road, right in that area. Um, I think this will this will do you much better, and the fish won't die now. Thank you, guys, oh, you're very welcome. Very welcome. Okay, we're on our way home. Well, he was excited and liked that, didn't he? Yeah, he liked that pretty good. Had his pond all set up and running again. He was so happy. He said his dad would just sit out there for hours and just watch that pond and and you know read his paper and stuff. So he wanted to set it back up as a homage to his father, and uh, who just recently passed away. So. Uh, we helped him out as best we could and we're on our way home now We've got people showing up bringing us some fish over so we're hurrying and scurrying to get home real quick and uh, We're about I'd say ten minutes away Now after we've been you know working all day, then we went to Lowe's we come back here and Reaver's here and He wants us to change his tires for him We're like sure <laughs> Okay I'm like, yeah, I'll handle that for you, Reaper. No problem. Who get the jack. <laughs> yeah, that's about how it goes, too, working with Rich. <laughs> hey, could you do this without my tools? Yeah. Could you do this without my supervision? I can go, I can go right down the street and get it. I don't need no supervision. I'm pretty smart when it comes to doing shit, Rich. Hey, 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 family friendly. I am family friendly. Uh, keep the swearing. I don't, I don't need nobody to coach me. Even though I didn't graduate high school, I know how to turn the wrench. Look at you. Look. I know how to jack. You know how to dress on. like you're looking for Waldo? I know how to dress. <laughs> now, look how nice this car looks. Nice new tires. Look at his old tires. Look at that. Look at that. Hoover, you breaking a sweat, I see, son. Them nice rims, nice tires. Look at that. He's keeping the best two tires for his spares, and he's throwing the worst two away. Well, my nurse left, so I have to go in the house now. Take care of Tracy. Well, she's leaving. I have to go take care of Tracy now for the next 16 hours. Wish me luck. Now, look at this. We had a nice couple come over today, and they donated this to us. A nice tall tank. It's got a under gravel tube, but no under gravel plate. We might have the plate back there that fits that. And then I can set it up, but we need one of those Tetra Tech deep water tanks to put up a bubble wall across there and make it look really nice. And then I gotta cut a hole in this and put a clock in here, like I did this one over here. This tank here, if you look up top, there's the clock I put in, and that was like 10 bucks from Pat Catan's. So I'm going to do the same to this one. Make it look nice. And uh, we'll have a nice bubble wall, filtration, under gravel. And then, uh, I don't know if I want to do white and black. It's got a blue background. So maybe white gravel, make it really pop. Or black gravel, and just have the blue background with the bubbles on it. Uh, it came with a, a, a booty light, too. This was the light that was in it for an incandescent bulb. I'm gonna put LED lights in it. So now, see this top has a lid to it, and it opens up. This is the top of the uh, under gravel filter tube. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this working up and looking nice and, uh, you know, they're not very good fish tanks for tall, you know, things like that. But, you know, uh, they do look pretty. Okay, Josh has got Hubert. Hi, Hubert. Been a long time, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Okay, so now we're going to try and put this apparatus on him. Put him on the ground. He can't move. Now, strap that around him. It should be close to, you know, fit. It's a, a bungee cord type thing. And then you got to tighten it up. Put it behind both uh, front paws first, and then we can stretch it. 
Need more hands. Need more hands? Okay. You got it behind his claw? Yep. Going over his head, go over the shell, behind this claw. Okay. Now we're going to pull it to stretch it straight. Now right in the middle, like so. Now, on this side here, is that Sorry. in the middle? Okay, and this is good. Let's turn this on. Uh, let's turn it on this way. You can see if it's recording. Yeah. And it's recording. All righty. Let's go ahead and let him loose. Hi. Hubert's first swim in the big pool. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. <laughs> he don't like that. He's like, what's this trap on me? He's not swimming normal. But, you know, he'll get used to it and he'll start swimming around. There he goes. Look at the air pine is checking him out. Brutus is like, who's this? What are you doing here? It's my land. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Good job. It's a little bit off center. So it might be tilted video. Yeah. Look at Hubert. Don't know what to do in all this room. He can go anywhere. That's what he did. That's what he did. Yeah. Are you able to jump in there and recenter that camera? It's off to one side right now. In other words, tilting, you know. Just pulled up a little bit on his left side. There you go. The, the, the tank boss is checking him out, and he ain't doing nothing to him. He's swimming away. So he's giving him okay to swim in his area. He's really checking him out. And now he's swimming away. Good deal, Josh. They're not bothering him at all. Hey, we might be able to keep Hubert in here. Where's the uh, giant Mexican musk turtle? Okay. Oh, I can't stand them. Skylights, there we go. I'm between two of them. All right. And leave him alone. Come on, Hubert, go swim, buddy. He's still a little freaked out with that strap on his back. He's acting a little weird, trying to jerk it off. But, gotta do is just let it be and swim, buddy. You'll get plenty of extra shrimp. He's kind of just sitting there, Josh. Is he behind there again? Yeah, he's falling away to stay back there. He's what? Falling away to stay back there. Oh, Hubert's going after the tank boss. That's nice. Look at this. There you go, Hubert. We haven't seen him in over a month and a half, though. You got him out like three weeks ago, and he went right back in. I haven't seen him eat, that's for sure. Hubert is checking everything out. He's starting to forget about his camera. Look at the cichlids checking Hubert out. They're circling him. That is so neat. They've made us full circle around him. 
This is so cool. They're all checking them out. Look at that. Hubert, you're a superstar. Hope you guys appreciate this video because Josh had to get in the thing. He did not want to. Did you, buddy? <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> Bad, Hubert. <laughs> Give him a little boost and let him swim. Look at all the monsters around him though. He's getting all that video. Good job, Hubert. Oh, here comes Brutus. Swimming right by the camera. They're all checking you out, Hubert. There goes the prune shark. No, look at him. He's just moseying along. He's not scared. He's like, I'm amongst friends here. <laughs> Whoa, what did you do there? Try pat him the Oh, you pat him? Because he come up out of the water splashing me. That was crazy. He got the carpet wet all the way back to here. <laughs> <laughs> Hubert, you're doing a good job, buddy. You want to go down and swim past the camera in front of Hubert? I thought he'd swim around a whole lot more. Josh grabs him by the camera. <laughs> Hi, Hubert. I would put him back because we're not here to watch him. At, you know, at nighttime against the big monsters. And I would hate for like a red tail to take off a foot or something. You know? I don't think you would. Well, you remember when we put him into the, the little pool with a bunch of red tails in there? And they all went after him. It was a different turtle. What turtle was that? Okay, Hubert's back in his pool now. Nonetheless, for wear, he's okay. Now he's swimming around. He's like, I don't know what that was on my back, but it's gone now. <laughs> he's swimming around normally. That's what I thought he would do. He's always swimming, just keeps going. And I thought he'd do that with the camera on his back, but... There you go, Hubert. Thank you, buddy. Yep. And it's recording. All righty. Let's go ahead and let him loose. Hi, Hubert's first swim in the big Hubert in the pool. There we go.